It is highly recommended that you show any of your YouTube videos to your students using a program such as PowerPoint, Active Inspire, or even Edmodo or your teacher web pages. In this example today, we are going to see how to embed a YouTube video into Active Inspire. When you find the video that you want, you want to click on the Share button, and then you want to click on Embed. You'll see various options below that. The embed code is in this box here. That's what we're going to copy after we set the rest of our options. It's recommended that you uncheck the option that says show suggested videos. Sometimes YouTube will show some suggested videos after your video plays that may have some images that might be disturbing to the younger crowd. Unlike the PowerPoint option, you do not need to use the old embed code. Active Inspire does just fine with the new embed code. At the bottom of the screen, you can choose your selected video size. Um, it doesn't matter. I usually go for a medium or a medium large. I'm going to go to this middle one here. You can always adjust the size of the video in Active Inspire once you have uh, embedded it. Once I've got all my settings done, I'm going to go up to the box with the code in it. I'm going to right mouse click and choose copy. I'm going to go over to Active Inspire. In this particular example, I'm using the studio version, but these steps are the same in both the studio version and the primary version. To insert the video or embed the video, I go to the insert menu and I choose link. And then I select embedded HTML. You'll be presented with a blank box, which I can then right mouse click and choose paste. Here is my paste code and my video appears in Active Inspire. Now, a couple tricks. The easiest way to adjust the size is to click your mouse with the selector tool enabled outside of the video and just draw a selector box until it touches the video and you'll get your handlebars and I'm just going to pull this handlebar left and right so I adjust it so that the bottom scroll bar disappears. I'm going to pull it to the top so that the right scroll, ball, scroll bar disappears. And now I can click play my video. The video begins playing, so I'm going to pause it. I can use the free move, freely move button at the top to reposition my video anywhere I want on the page. And that's embedding a YouTube video into Active Inspire.